Colombia has 28.1 MW installed capacity of renewable energy excluding large hydropower, consisting mainly of wind power. The country has significant wind and solar resources that remain largely unexploited. According to a study by the World Bank's Energy Sector Management Assistance Program ESMAP, exploitation of the country's significant wind potential alone could cover more than the country's current total energy needs. <laughs> Investment costs Investment costs for renewable energy technologies in Colombia were estimated in 2005 as follows. Hydropower <inaudible> 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 With 70% of the country's power generation, hydropower is a very important national energy source. The total large hydropower potential for Colombia is estimated at 93 gigawatts, with an additional 25 gigawatts of small hydropower. Topic: <inaudible> Wind. The wind regime in Colombia is among the best in South America. Offshore regions of the northern part of Colombia, such as in the Guajira department, have been classified with class 7 winds over 10 meters per second, meter per second. The only other region in Latin America with such high wind power classification is the Patagonia region of Chile and Argentina. Colombia has an estimated theoretical wind power potential of 21 gigawatts just in the Guajira department enough to generate sufficient power to meet the national demand almost twice over. However, the country only has an installed capacity of 19.5 MW of wind energy, tapping only 0.4% of its theoretical wind potential. This capacity is concentrated in a single project, the Jeparachi Wind Project, developed by Empresas Publicas de Medellín under a carbon finance mechanism arranged by the World Bank. There are several projects under consideration, including a 200 MW project in Ipapka. See also, Wind and Wind Energy Atlas of Colombia 2006 in Spanish at UPME, then click on Publicaciones, then on Recientis. Accessed on September 8, 2007. Solar Colombia has significant solar power resources because of its location in the equatorial zone, but the country sits in a complex region of the Andes where climatic conditions vary. The daily average radiation is 4.5 kWh per square meter, and the area with the best solar resource is the Guajira Peninsula, with 6 kWh per square meter of radiation. Of the 6 MW of solar power installed in Colombia equivalent to about 78,000 average size solar panels, 57% is distributed in rural applications and 43% in communication towers and road signaling. Solar systems can be very suitable for applications in rural areas, where energy demands are dispersed and modest and grid connection is often more costly UPME 2005. Topic. Geothermal The former Colombian Institute of Electrical Energy, today IPSE, and the Latin American Energy Organization have identified three areas with geothermal power potential. Azufral, in Nerino Department, where the Azufral volcano is located. Cerro Negro Tofino, also in Nerino Department, near the Chile's volcano, and Piper, located in the Cordillera Oriental in Boyaca Department. The potential of the main sources of geothermal power in Colombia is summarized below. Biomass <inaudible> 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 
Colombia has a great biomass power potential from agricultural residues banana, coffee pulp, and animal waste. Its annual biomass power potential is estimated to be over 16 gigawatt-hours, which is still less than 0.1% of current electricity production. The potential is distributed as follows. 11,828 megawatt-hours per year from agriculture residues. 2,640 megawatt-hours per year from bioethanol. 698 megawatt hours per year from natural forest residues 658 megawatt hours per year from biodiesel 442 megawatt hours per year from planted forest residues the region of Uraba in the north of the department of Antioquia has approximately 19000 hectares of banana plantations producing more than 1 million ton annually it has also been estimated that approximately 85,000 TO per year could be produced from the 190 million cubic meters per year of biogas generated from coffee plantations, equivalent to 995,000 megawatt hours. In addition, the landfills in the four main cities in Colombia, Bogota, Medellin, Cali, and Barranquilla, are estimated to have the potential to provide for an installed capacity of 47 megawatts. Zero. 3% of current installed capacity